Everything up? This is forward to many more of these. I'm Harry Haddon Pape, and we are doing flying over sunset for the Lincoln Center Theatre. We are currently in the Lincoln Restaurant. Is that where we get a could discount? Be. We get a discount. I hope we get a discount. We get a discount. This is a gin martini. Very classic. What's mine? That's a boulevardier. A boulevardier. Yeah, boulevardier. Yes. And this is a water. <laughs> <laughs> Flying Over Sunset is about three historic characters. Aldous Huxley, Claire Booth Luce, Cary Grant, and they all separately experimented with the drug LSD. It fictionalizes them coming together and experimenting with each other. I think there's a great deal about confronting your past and um, uh, finding your new, fresh version of yourself. Very much, this is just a sort of interpretation. Things are still strung in by actual fact, the things that yeah. actually did happen, and then we've just taken our imagination yeah. and, and uh, lifted it. We're not rewriting history. <laughs> no, no. But it could have. <laughs> I love playing real people because there's so much information out there. Aldous Huxley uh, is a writer and a philosopher, but what we know less about uh, and what this show really concentrates on is him as a husband, the human side. So far in my research, I found Claire Booth Luce to be a very fearless woman. And I think that she felt that LSD would just open up some places that she had shut down for a while. I never thought I'd be playing Cary Grant in a musical while he sings and tap dances. Never in my <laughs> wildest dreams. And his, his tap dance is mind-blowing. But what about mine? <laughs> you were just mind-blowing oh, yeah. <laughs> all the time. When I was offered this role, they said James LaPlante, the guy who wrote Sunday in the Park with George and Into the Woods and Passion. I'm just really excited to see how he waves his baton and makes this incredible vision that he has come to life. I have to say, the music gets under the skin. This is Tom Kitt's best score to it's date. It's gorgeous. And I find it hard to not get swept up in the whirlwind of this music. And I hope that the audience comes with us because it does feel like a trip. It's a trip. Michael's words are poetry. When you look at them on the page mm. and then you add them to Tom Kitt's music. I just can't fathom how they do it. They'll come in with a new bit of music. In a day. In like yeah. a day, in an afternoon. Yeah. And you go, uh, I'm sorry, do you just, you just wrote that. Right. Have we talked about the singing and the dancing? The singing and the, the singing dancing. and the dancing. Michelle Dorrance's choreography is going to be up on the But this. And you're She's dancing. Incredible. And you're dancing. And I'm dancing. Everyone actually dances in our show. When you put together a team like this, there's something for everyone. You, you know what they should do? What, what? should they do, Tony? They should go see Flying Over Sunset oh, at Lincoln Center yes. Theater. <laughs>